All right, the next example. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 6 times e raised to the negative x equals 3. Again, isolate the variable. So in this case, I divide by 6 on both sides. I have e to the negative x equals 1 half. Now, like in my last example, to get rid of the log base, to get rid of base 10, or 10 as my exponent, I took the log of base 10. Well, here, I'm going to have to take the log of base what? E, which the log of base E is what we call actually just ln of E, which is your natural logarithm. So I am going to take the ln of base E. ln is base E, but I'll write it in there as well. So you take the ln of both sides because, ladies and gentlemen, ln base E of E raised to the negative x equals ln base E of 1 half. If you guys remember in your notes at the beginning of class, I gave an example of this. ln base e of e raised to the negative x is just going to equal negative x, which is equal to ln base e of 1 half. Again, I keep on writing in the base e, but we don't have to because your calculator is already ln is in base e. That's why we use the natural logarithm to represent base e. So when I'm typing this in, I, don't, I look and I see, oh, ln, there's no base there because base is already e. So I just take the ln of 1 half, and then I have to divide that by a negative 1. So therefore, x equals a positive 0 0.70. And again, that's going to be approximate as I did round my answer. Okay? Anybody have any questions on the first two problems?